hey, 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 hey. Give it up for designer in the building, guys. Yeah. Give it up for bass in the hooves. What's up, everybody? It's a true blessing to be here, for real. Um, you know, I had a a pretty loudly stated goal that I wanted to do more shows on the African continent. My family's originally from Sudan. I was raised in Queens. Um, you know, so I feel like I'm almost home when I come here. Timmy Turner is about um, depth. It was a time when I was at a moment in my life, and I felt like I didn't. Um, I was wishing for a lot of things. I didn't want to do a lot of good things. I didn't have the smile that I had on my face like I had right now, you know? And at that time, I was really wishing for um, a burner. I was like, Timmy, Timmy Turner, he was wishing for a burner to kill everybody walking. But he know that his soul in the furnace, you know? And I was saying, if I do it, I know that I'll go to hell if I do it. So it was just putting that, you know, that cartoon story of Timmy Turner and him having the Cosmo and the Wanda. He was wishing it to them as that was his gods. and. I was wishing for a bad thing at a point in time, so I made a song about it to clear my mind, you know? Heck yeah. Big up. Yeah, um, well, you know, New York is a global city. Um, so, like we, like we said, coming from Sudan and, and spending some time in France, um, New York is a place where, you know, you don't have to be a, afraid to claim all those things or belong to all those things because Everyone is from somewhere, everyone has a history, everyone has their stories, traditions, you know, music, culture. Um, and so, you know, I think it's almost a cheat code growing up there because you just get all this influence, you know what I mean? I could walk into the deli and, uh, you know, like the Yemeni guys are playing some music I've never heard or I could, you know what I mean? I can go into the Jamaican spot to get some oxtail and hear something I've never heard. Um, it's just constantly inspiring you. Um, my rap style, I consider it to be um, designer, you know, um, in the speed. When I, as a kid, I wanted to give, I'm a fan of Twister, I was a fan of speed and everything, and also at the same time, I love to sing. So, just putting those two together, and it's, you know, touching the soul areas in music and with my singing melodies, and also hitting the energy points with my speed and my repetition on my flows, and the, and the you feel me, the drum of my, you know, my just keeping things like that going, so, it's just like, I guess it's a new style I'm creating that's just, you know, unique from designer. You dig? Heck yeah. That's, that's tough. That's really tough. You know, obviously, songs, you live with them for so long. So, you know, one is your favorite now, then it becomes another. Um, right now, I enjoy Tribe because, you know, I think it's one of the more positive songs I've ever written. Um, and... I think sometimes it's easier to make negative music or just, you know, it's just easier to be aggressive. Um, and that was a song where I was able to tap into, you know, love and, and love of self, love of others. And, uh, you know, it was kind of new for me. So I, I got to go with Tribe. This is my first time ever being here. I'm from Best Side, Brooklyn, you know, a place where some kids don't even think they can even see here, you know? So just me being here, I first came off the plane, I tell y'all, I kissed the floor. You heard, I had to get down and kiss the floor and just, you know, just embrace and feel the energy because, you know, this is somewhere that, you know, many people dream to be about, dream, dream here. Many people question what's there, what is it about? And it's more beautiful than I could ever imagine. I agree with my boy Bass and it's just like, it's, it's wonderful. I can't wait to turn up. I can't wait to give y'all the good, wonderful spirit. Let's keep turning up and I want to share to all the kids that's out there, even for the kids that don't know how to get to, you know, or want to be where I want to be or want to be where he's at, want to be even where he's at. It's easy, man, to stay focused, keep your focus in God, focus on really what you want to do, move on it, and it's there. It's guaranteed and it's destined to be there. So I'm happy to be here in Kenya. My biggest musical influence is, is probably my older brother, DJ MoMA. Um, he's been a DJ as long as I can remember so he would get you know like UK Garage or French House or you know um, Afro Beats or whatever he's always listening to 
and he would, you know, pull me in a room since I was however young and be like, yo, come listen to this, come listen to that. Um, so I would, I'd have to say, yeah, DJ Roma. And people don't, people don't know that you were a DJ before too, right? Yeah, because of him, actually. He had me opening up his gigs uh, for a few months, but, you know, before I found writing. If you've never been to Everyday People, you have to attend one of those parties in New York. Real, real, real hot parties. 